So what we're gonna do is show you over a hundred badass ball pythons within two minutes. Continue. Going green, seeing red. Nice headline. Now let's build a story around that. <laughs> You're gonna throw away my sixth grade science project? Well, you can have it. You can take it with you. It's... Oh, Look at how strong it is. That was the strongest bridge in the entire sixth grade class. How Everybody old is this thing? The same time. Sixth grade. Yeah, so... It's 26 years, 25, 24 years old. Quarter century. 24 years old. Look at that bridge. This bridge is holding up stronger than bridges other people built. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You can have it or do you want me to put it back in the garage? <laughs> put it back in the garage until it disintegrates. <laughs> about 20 minutes. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So since I'm here at my parents' house and the house where I grew up, I'm feeling a little nostalgic. I think I'm going to share a story with you. And I think I'll share a story with you every time I come back here. Just one story. You see this little spot behind my head in the wall? My neighbor across the street, John, who was a large behemoth of a boy, if you want to call him a boy, 6'3" completely roided out. We were kind of wrestling in here in the living room and we were getting a little rambunctious so I was pushing this way, putting it down and I threw him back on the couch and he landed and his elbow went right through the wall right there. And I, I was like, oh no, what do I do about that? And I, I was kind of looking at it trying to figure out what am I gonna do about that? And I looked in the kitchen and there was an orange much like this one, just looked like the exact same size as the hole. So I took that orange, wrapped it in newspaper, and shoved it right into that hole. And then covered it up with a little bit of plaster and called it good. And I, when did you guys, when did you guys notice? Did you guys ever, when did you notice? I'm not right away. And I don't even, didn't know the whole story until years later, I don't know. It was past that, what do you call that, statute of limitations, where it's like, you know what, I guess you're not in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's not my patch job. This is some, somebody else tried to patch this after me. My patch job was much better. I'm not sure what happened to orange, but I do believe that citric acid deters termites, so I was probably doing them a favor by getting that orange into their wall. This wall would have probably fallen down already if it wasn't for that orange. <laughs> okay, one more story. One more story, and then we're gonna get on the road to visit my buddy Jesse Johnson and do a little bit of Easter egg fantasticness and maybe go check out the Freedom Breeder shop and show you guys a ton of awesome ball pythons. I'm sitting at this here bistro set and it's a morning much like this morning. Birds chirping, you hear those birds? Birds were chirping much like that. It was a little sunnier, you know, it was a little overcast today, the sun was shining. And this story involves the same neighbor, Mr. John, which many of my stories here do, because he made life much more interesting. So I'm sitting here, eating a bowl of cereal. John comes running out from his front door, shotgun in hand, blows a squirrel out of this tree. <laughs> squirrel goes flying, John goes running back in the house. I'm sitting here like mid bite, like, did that just happen? And neighbors mowing the lawn down the street, doesn't really stop mowing the lawn. So I sit here for a while contemplating what I just saw. Birds started chirping again. Nobody called the cops. And so I, I go about my day and do my thing, cruise around town and do whatever I do on an average day, which the shotgun incident was a pretty much average day for this street. And I come home later that day and that squirrel is sitting right there on my front lawn with a Budweiser can in its arms like, uh, John had taken the squirrel, placed it there with the Budweiser can to greet me when I returned home later that day. And this, I remind you, is this, this is an average day on this street, okay? This, this, is how, this is what I grew up with. 
Okay, I'm gonna brush my teeth, get an Osage loaded up, we're gonna hit the road. What are you guys talking about? You. What do you say about me? I say nothing about you. I'm gonna see you with that camera all the time. What did you say? What did you say? What did they say? I don't say? have to disclose anything. Do I, Noah? No. what did Grandma say? Nothing. Oh, you guys are in cahoots. Alright. Ooh, bye. Oh, yeah, it's real close to my ear. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Adios. Love you, Bye, guys. Love you too. Bye guys. I can't wait to get on the road again. Oh, thanks, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. We'll have to do like some mixed drinks. I don't like to drink so much beer. You know, like, it's like drinking sodas, you know? Cheers, man. Oh, yeah. It's a good year. We're gonna. We got so much stuff breeding right now, it's crazy. We're doing good right now. You're, you're getting your first ones this year, right? Yeah, well I got, um... It's exciting, huh? I got that first, um, well I had that first clutch that that didn't do so hot. Because I, my incubation was off. The temperatures were good and everything, I just, the humidity was off. It is too dry? Too dry. Yeah, that, that happened to us one year. Jesse is the grill master. <laughs> well... I thought Jesse was the grill master. Apparently, <laughs> apparently he burns chicken. I just showed Jesse the way to cut a pineapple. You guys want to know the right way to cut a pineapple? Do you know how to cut a pineapple the right way? I'm not talking about the shape you cut it in. I'm talking about the process to get the best cut pineapple you've ever had in your life. Do you know what it is? I'll tell you, but you gotta ask. Here's a lemonade. It's raining outside, so we gotta do the Easter egg hunt on the inside. We don't know where they go. Look for the go. <laughs> I see that. We couldn't celebrate Easter and be this close to Freedom Breeder and not come over and check out some snakes. So what we're gonna do is show you over a hundred badass ball pythons within two minutes. All right, guys, we did it. We did it. We're alive. Oh, yeah. We're sweating. Later, bud. Say bye. Say, Say bye, bud. Yeah. Say thanks for coming. So Thank you. Oh, thanks for coming. It was so fun. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Good to see you too. Hey, thanks for coming. Well, that was a ton of fun. We got a few hours to get home. We got a lot to do after we get home, so time to move.
All right, guys, we just got home. There's a little bit of rain, a little bit of sun, mostly rain, but I'm gonna get this guy unloaded here from his seat. Get this uh, video edited, and I hope you guys enjoyed the Blood Python episode. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other.